Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the ancient Magdalena people's cannibalism and body part jewelry. The discovery of human remains in a cave in Poland has amazed archaeologists for years. Did the people in the Magdalenian era practice cannibalism? This question emerged after experts studied the cuts and marks found on them. While such findings are a way to learn about our ancestors, this one is particularly intriguing. Researchers say that as they dug more into the remains, they found hints of the practice of cannibalism among our ancient European ancestors. However, others do not agree. Now new research has confirmed that cannibalism did exist among Magdalena people. Historical records show that cannibalism, or the practice of humans eating humans, existed in several parts of the world. The discovery in the caves of Poland also points to prehistoric cannibalism among Europeans during the Magdalenian era. New research on the human remains found in the Masika cave in southern Poland has reignited the debate over the act of cannibalism in Europe, hinting that it existed as far back as 18,000 years ago. Archaeologists say that the skeletal remains found in the Polish cave are conclusive proof that prehistoric cannibalism is real. They cited body positioning and cut marks as evidence that some humans ate humans during the Magdalenian era. They say they not only devoured the flesh, but also used body parts as raw materials. The discovery of human remains in the Masika cave points to evidence that Magdalena people prepared human meat for consumption. They used skeletons to prepare different things, such as skull cups and jewelry, the researchers said. However, not everyone is convinced that the remains found in the Polish cave present a case for cannibalism. Some believe that Magdalena people might be practicing bone cleaning, which left cuts and marks on the bodies. The remains were first found in the Mazika cave in the 19th century. Cannibalism became a topic of discussion in the 1990s, but the lack of tooth marks led to the debate being dicey with no confirmation. Now, researchers at the Catalan Institute of Human Paleoecology and Social Evolution have used 3D scanning techniques to confirm that cannibalism was practiced in that cave. The team says they have found clear signs that muscle packets, brain, and marrow were deliberately removed, saying that they are among the most nutritious parts of the body, and so might have been used for consumption. The location and frequency of the cut marks and the intentional fracturing of the skeleton clearly show a nutritional exploitation of the bodies, ruling out the hypothesis of a funerary treatment without consumption, Francesc Marginadas a researcher at Ifes Kirka, said, Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.